What's up guys, this is Phenom and uh, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this motion tracked particles rising above the ground kind of thing and this glassy text which is just co kind of cool, you know. Um, all I've got to say is you've got to have track code particular and uh, make sure you motion track your scene before watching this tutorial because uh, I'm not going to be going through that, you know, just go and booze you or whatever, motion track, you'll see. Now that, that said, uh, I'll jump straight in. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay a new solid and we're going to do the particles first. So we're going to do partic particular. And go to particular, find it, add it onto the solid. BAM! We got some particles. Right. Now if I so solo this, just to show you something, show you, show you, so show you something, um, it takes a while for the particles to kind of spawn. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the clip, cut the solid, sorry, till when they kind of spawn, just because it looks a bit better, in my case. It might not be for your case, but for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press, oh, square bracket, or just drag in the side, to cut the solid. So, just drag that at the beginning, unsolo, oops, unsolo it. Now, what we've got is particles, and they're kind of monging around, don't really know why. Uh, don't know if this happens to you guys, but whatever. To fix that, we'll go to emitter and go change it to box, emitter type to box. And this means that they will work somehow. Uh, I don't know, but it, it works. Um, now, just position your particles to where you kind of want them to be in the scene. So I'm going to choose there. Wait. There. My scene isn't motion tracked very well. It was a bit of a rush, but I don't care. So, then what we can do is we can mess around with the emitter size, uh, X, Y, and Z, or Z, and change them to how you want so they fit your scene. So, in my case, I'm just going to fit them out so they fit the whole way, uh, a bit like that, that looks kind of cool, don't really know what they're doing, but yeah, now they fit the whole way, or we'll just spread them out to how far you want them, or whatever, uh, what I'm going to do now is, I am going to do the physics, go on to physics and change gravity to minus uh, 300. This means the particles will be flowing up, uh, whereas if you put them to like positive 300, they'll be flowing down. Zero, when it's a zero, it's just kind of mowing around, not doing anything. But minus means they're going up, so that's kind of what I want. Now, depending on how fast you want them to go up, uh, if you want them to go faster, make it a much smaller number, if that makes sense. So minus 1,000 would be faster than minus 300. Um, so yeah, it just depends on how fast you want it to be. Now what I'm going to do is, because the particles go above the ceiling, which kind of floors the entire effect, uh, I'm going to go to particle and turn the life down. So if I turn the life down um, to about there, the particles only go as high as like the ceiling, which is which makes sense because I don't want the particles rising through the ceiling because that would look like a glitch. I'm going to turn that bit a bit more down a bit more. Uh, so yeah, there we go, and I'll probably mess around with the size, maybe 4, uh, maybe size random it, just to be a bit funky, um, nah, I won't do that, and yeah, whatever colour you want, let's do red, nah, let's not, um, so yeah, that's kind of cool, it's a cool effect, and that's basically the particles done, um, you don't really need to touch the Z, uh, in this case, oh, well, that's just bad, but um, you don't really need to mess around with the position Z, or the emitter, um, yeah, the position, because it's up to you, I mean, it just depends on your clip, but in my case, I didn't need to, just mess around with the settings, that's basically the gist of it, so, now I'm going to teach you how to do this glossy text effect here, what we are going to do, is we are going to make a new text there, and call it, say, tutorial. It's a bit cheesy, maybe. Hello. Hello's nice. Uh, I'm gonna make it a bit bigger, whatever, you know. There we go. Now, obviously, make it 3D. Oh, 
so it's motion tracked but you know whatever and make sure it fits what you're actually doing so sorry about this but this floors my uh, whole thing there nah. there yes there we go right nope nope Whatever, I don't care, it's going to be a diagonal. <laughs> right, um, so, now you've got your text where you want it. What we're going to do is we're going to make it an adjustment layer. It's gone, yes it's gone. Um, what we'll do is we're going to effects and presets, type in levels. You type in levels, we can now change the levels. Now as you can see it's giving off this transparent effect. Um, here, depending on how, oops, depending on how bright you want it, or how dark you want it, or whatever. But I'm going to make it bright in this case. Um, oops, there we go. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go to magnify, add to the mag, if I, and this will make it a bit nicer. So I'll increase the size so it spreads throughout the whole text. We, I think that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I did. So now you've got a motion tracked particles coming out the ground. You've got motion tracked glossy text. So there you go. Um, that's basically the end of the tutorial. Um, if you want to see more edits and stuff, just subscribe. If you want more tutorials, um, let me know. Um, if you've got any questions as well, feel free to comment below because I. I need to know, I could answer them, even if it's something really stupid or if you're totally new. This is a bit of an advanced tutorial, but I don't think it's too hard to follow. Sorry if I was a bit rushed, but I didn't want to be talking for ages like I am now. And there you go, thanks guys for watching this video. Um, like, whatever, dislike if you didn't like it. Nah, jokes, please don't. That makes me upset. Um, <laughs> thanks you guys for watching. Uh, peace out. Uh, yeah.